Alright, you guys can take a seat. Uh, welcome back to Family Feud Part 2. Uh, we have Team Octopus, as we can see, they lost horribly last time. And we have um, Team Square with Garen and a special guest. Yeah! is in here. Alright, um, introduce yourselves a little. We're Team Octopus and we're ready to make a comeback. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> team Squid, and we're ready to get a second win. Yeah! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's start off with our first question with the representative to the front. <laughs> alright, are you guys ready? Sure. Round one. Um, tell me something many people do just once a week. Alright, hit. <laughs> Uh, go to church! Whoa, Whoa! top answer! Oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay. The question is, tell me something many people do just once a week. They wash their laundry. Or they do their laundry. Laundry, 12 points. Third answer. And there's six answers. Uh, Shopping. Whoa, that's the second answer. Woo! 24 looks like Team Octopus. <laughs> it's really a. How many? How many? There are three more possible answers. Three more? Three more. And three more seconds. Three. Two. They go off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, she has it. She just has it. Alright, let me calm down. Uh, no, 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 don't say no to me. <laughs> Alright, you can say it now, you have some time. Right? We have, we have three chances. Yeah. We have three they chances. go on a run. <laughs> Sarah so says no, they don't go on a run. Um, um, okay. Huh? <laughs> time is ticking. Three. Um, <laughs> Not read. Uh, Alright, you guys have one more try. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is me. Oh my goodness, got shot down, Alex. Can someone do the math? 47, 6, 7, 71. 71. And we have right. Team Squid with zero. Uh, the last <laughs> one. The last one. Okay, and then the last three answers were clean house, sleep in, and eat out. Sleep in. Oh. Oh. Alright, round one is over. See you back in round two, everybody. Round two, set up a round. Go, Ali. Woo! 
Got it. Got this. <laughs> Round two, the question is, tell me something you can buy that costs a dollar or less. Yes! Oh, Team Octopus, <laughs> again. Um, water. Bottle? Oh? Water bottle. <laughs> no! Oh, yes. 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 Survey, water Very is not on survey. <laughs> you can get anything else. Alright, ice cream. <laughs> no. Wait, ice fast cream. food. No! Fast food? No. Ice cream and fast food? When I think ice cream, I think of McDonald's. I don't. I think <laughs> no, okay, no, he's the judge. Oh. No! We'll say, we'll say no to that one. So, Alright. So now what happened? I really don't know. <laughs> uh, just Rochambeau to see who goes again. Team Octopus hit. Candy, gum. Candy. Gum. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, four points for that? Yep. There are five more answers. A banana? Fruit, yes. Yes! Top answer, 29 points. Okay. No. Imagine just a magazine. Newspaper. Newspaper, yeah! Oh. How many more? <laughs> Four, three more, three more. Three more. Three more. Three more. Um, not including friends. Yeah, not including friends so just two. Okay. Okay. Um, Fruit. 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 A plastic bag. Or just a bag. No. No, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Sure. <laughs> 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 what do you do? 
17. Oh. oh. All right. Uh, 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 fast forward was actually 23 points. Sorry. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. You guys missed out. All right. We'll see you back in round three. Okay. Welcome back to round three. We have our Ali and Steph, and our question is: What is the first thing people most first thing most people do in the morning? Oh! <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. She, she <laughs> missed the bell. No, I didn't. <laughs> Replay. Yes, Replay. Alan, I All right, we'll check our camera right now. Just checked our replay and Ali won first. So Ali, what is the first thing most people do in the morning? Brush their teeth. Yeah, oh, seven points. <laughs> All right. All right, team octopus. Check their phones. Really? Turn off alarm and snooze. Yeah. Okay. Twelve points. Okay. Um, most people. Oh, some people make their bed. <laughs> um. <laughs> Not a lot of people, apparently. <laughs> That's wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Um, use the bathroom. Yeah, top answer is 24 points. Um, make breakfast. Yeah, 18 yes! points. Yes, Allie! Good job. Team Octopus is actually doing well. <laughs> a surprise, indeed. Okay. How many more are there? There are four, three more. Three more? Um, wash up. Mm. Shower. A shower, yeah. Shower, 19 points. <laughs> um, they change clothes, their clothes. Get dressed, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, sorry. one more. One more? Sorry, team squid. <laughs> <laughs> one more. This one might be a little tricky. Though. Exercise? Nope. Uh, that's a two wrong, right? Is that two? Yeah. That's too specific. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, open the blinds. Wrong. That's actually really close, though. Okay. All right. Team Squid. Just one more. That's actually what an okay one is. Turn on the lights. No! <laughs> no! Open the window. No! <laughs> no! It's actually really hard. Uh, I wouldn't expect you guys to get it. Open your eyes. Wait! Open your eyes! One, guys, she she spilled the beans and we got the points. But we'll You're see welcome. you back on round Thanks. in round four, and we will tally these points up. Duh. All right, welcome back to round four. We have. Well, that's kind of not in the middle. I don't want it. Okay, welcome back to round four. We have Betsy and Darren. Uh, our question is: Name something you might wear while driving. Darren! <laughs> Am I allowed to help? Uh, sunglasses. Whoa, 27 points! Yay. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, Team Squid, put yourselves back in the game. Four more answers. Gloves? Sunglasses. Wait, where you got it? Oh, eyeglasses. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they're back in the game. All right, two more things. <laughs> okay.
No, <laughs> I, I, not today. Not, not according to the survey. <laughs> no, that's too wrong. Now you have too wrong. So one more. It's kind of tricky. something you find in a breakfast buffet. Oh, you said 
Sausage. <laughs> All right. Wait, well, no pancakes? Really? Does the survey say pancakes? <laughs> yeah. It's not me, it's the survey. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, okay. okay now we'll tally up these points, points and um, predict who won without looking at it. Predict who won. <laughs> Alright. Alright, welcome back, guys. Uh, we have our winners, and our winners are. Team Octopus with 200 points, finally putting themselves on the board. Sadly, Team Squid, the last time champions, couldn't come back and had only 201 points, but it was a close game. Let's applaud. Alright, we're going to wrap up this show with the outro by clapping again. Yeah, duh! Da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. lost, right? All right. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Yes. Ha. Got you this time. All right. Ready? Row, sham, bow. Oh, I knew I should have gone with the other one. Again? Well, paper beats rock, so I win this round. Right now we are tied, and let's see who the winner will be. Ready? Row, sham, boat. Scissors? Well, that's a tie, so I guess that makes us both winners. 
All right. Thank you for playing Rochambeau with me. To start our worship today, let's say our worship time chant. Ready? It's worship time. Worship time. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Edison, and today's question of the day is what's my, your favorite cartoon show? Uh, my favorite cartoon show is Phineas and Ferb. Um, type your answer in the chat box below. Hey guys, welcome to week three, day three of your daily exercise, and today. We're gonna be doing something pretty hard. So get warmed up and let's get ready. All right, so I need you guys to lay on the floor, but keep your arms out straight like this and stick your legs all the way up into the air. All right, now what I want you guys to do is push yourself up and try to touch your toes. And we're gonna do 10 of these, okay? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my back. All right. Good job, guys. And as always, next up is worship. Another day of Zoom. I can't wait to see these kids.
Good morning, everyone. Where is everyone? I don't see anyone's faces. Man, these kids really hate showing their faces. Um, Zarin, Sally, Stephanie, Jordan, Brian, and Frank. Are you guys here? Hello? Man, these kids are very shy. I think you guys are just a little shy, huh? Mm, how about we show our faces? I know sometimes it can be really, really nerve wracking to um, show your face or to talk in front of a big crowd, but God reminds us that um, with his power, we're able to be bold. So let's take, let's take, let's, let's do baby steps, all right? How about we kind of show our faces, all right? All right, everyone, can we turn on our cameras? I would love to see your guys' beautiful faces. I see Sally. Hi, Sally, good morning. Good morning. Jordan, good morning, Jordan. Frank, oh, good morning, Frank. Hi, Brian, good morning, Brian. Oh, Zarin and Stephanie, good morning. All right, you guys look a little sleepy and you guys look a little mad. I hope you guys aren't mad at me. <laughs> but how was everyone's weekend? <sighs> crickets, that's all I'm getting. I'm only getting crickets, this is so hard. All right, um, well, maybe I'll go first. Um, this weekend I had fun, I hung out with my family. Um, anyone else wanna share? I know it can be really hard, but remember, God reminds us to be bold. And we can actually do um, the Bible point for this week. So do you guys know the emotions? So this week is Jesus' power helps us to be bold. So Jesus' power helps us to be bold. And to be bold, we're going to put our arms on our hips and be confident. All right, so to be bold, right, God tells us, right, that we can be confident and we can also be ourselves, right? We don't have to be afraid to be ourselves and um, to share with other people about our lives um, and to stand up for what's right, right? All of these things can be example of being bold. And being bold takes some sort of action, right? Um, whether it's helping someone out or um, saying something or doing something, so it would be great, right, knowing that you have Jesus' power on your side and that he helps you be bold. Would any of you guys like to share what you guys did over the weekend? Come on, guys. I know you guys can do it. I, I went to walk my dog. <gasps> Jordan! You went where? I went swimming in my grass. Oh, you were swimming in your grass? Wow, wow, um, Stephanie, wow, that's so cool. I watered my house. Oh, you watered your house? Wow, Sally, you guys are such creative kids. I went to the backyard to play. Oh, you went to the backyard to play? Nice, Aaron. How about Brian and Frank? I ate food. You ate food? Nice. What did you eat? Food. All right, food. <laughs> How about you, Brian? I went for a walk. Oh, you went for a walk. Nice. See, I'm so glad you guys all shared because I'm sure all of your guys' peers loved hearing what you guys did over the weekend, too. I heard some watering your house, you know, swimming in your grass. Thank you guys for all sharing that. And I'm so proud of you guys um, for being bold, right? Sometimes it's not comfortable being bold, but um, after you do it, right, I'm sure all of you feel great about sharing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for sharing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Brian, I won't go on a walk with you. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. You hear that? You hear that, Brian? He wants to go on a walk with you. Good job being bold and asking people to hang out, Jordan. But remember, six feet. We're Still supposed to be quarantined. All right, everyone. That was great. See, being bold can be hard, but it has so many great 
great outcomes. You get to share with other people and a lot of people learn more things about you. Um, so next time you're in a situation where it's hard for you to be bold or to stand up for what you believe in or to even share your own thoughts, don't worry because Jesus' power, Jesus' power helps us be bold. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be grateful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be I want to be I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say Hey everyone, my name is Aaron, and this is the story of my life. I was born and raised in San Francisco, and I recently moved back from Southern California where I went to school and started my career in public accounting. My family consists of my dad, my mom, me, my little sister, and my grandma. I graduated from Commerce Sloat Elementary in 2004, 2007 from AP Janini, 2011 from Abraham Lincoln, 2015 from UC Irvine with a degree in Business Administration, and 2016 in UC Irvine with a master's in accountancy. This week's point is Jesus' power helps us be bold. And I will be talking about how Jesus' power helped me be bold. I remember when I was applying for high school, I put Lowell first, Lincoln second, Wash third, and then Burton last because I live close to Burton. But I didn't get into Lowell, didn't get into Lincoln, didn't get into Wash, but I got into Burton. And also, Burton was a public school that has a dress code of white polo and black pants because they didn't want any gang affiliation in the school. I remember being sad and thinking it was the worst day of my life because none of my friends were going to Burton. I just remember hearing stories about the dreaded Freshman Friday in which the upperclassmen would throw freshmen into the trash can and roll them down a hill. Or they would throw eggs at them and just overall bully them. But good thing this didn't happen to me at all. When I started school, 
I had no friends at Burton. I remember during lunch, I would just ask a teacher if I could just sit in their classroom to do homework every day. And after school, I would immediately rush to the bus stop because I was scared to get bullied and bus home. I remember every day for two weeks, I would pray to God during the walk from the bus stop to my house. And I would pray the same thing every day. I would pray, Jesus, please give me just one friend. And two weeks later, I believe that God has given me the courage to step out to be to be bold enough to make friends and not only did God answer my prayer for one friend but he gave me two <sighs> also you can recall I did not graduate from Burton but from Lincoln well I got a phone call during lunch after two weeks of going to school at Burton I was doing homework at lunch with my two friends my mom told me that I got accepted into Lincoln through the wait list I decided to go to Lincoln and be reunited with my high school friends and also make many more friends there. That is how I got connected to LCHS. And Jesus' power definitely does help us be bold because he helped me be bold. Thank you for listening. Hi everyone, my name's Erickson. Uh, I'm a part of the editing team this year for summer camp. Uh, so I've been behind the scenes editing a few of the videos that you guys might have seen online. But uh, right now I'm going to be leading us all in a word of prayer. So let's everyone fold our hands up our heads. Father God, I just wanted to thank you for this online summer camp. Uh, we didn't know if there was going to be any summer camp of any kind this year. Especially not the same kind that we've had the past 16, 17 years. Um, but even though it's online, we still have a good turn turn up of campers, and we have um, an enormous amount of staff to help us um, with this online summer camp. And it's and the summer camp is important for all of us because it's it's important for all of us to stay connected with the community. And uh, even though we can't go outside, and um, just uh, for us to be able to grow in our faith, and hopefully one one day end up with you in your kingdom. Um, I just wanted to thank you for uh, all of for all of the church leaders and all of the um, people that, ha that have come into church to film videos for summer camp. Um, being being because this online summer camp wouldn't be possible without them, and I just pray that you uh, keep everyone safe and healthy. And you know, I just pray all this in your son's name. Amen.